Good day, everybody. I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. And what a privilege and honor to do that because it's a name above all names. And do you realize when we greet somebody in that name, in the name of Jesus Christ, it is basically releasing everything that that name consists of and what it beholds into your lives. And what a privilege and an honor to be able to have the authority and to power the privilege to greet each other in that name. And I want to share with you this morning what the Lord shares with me out of Philippians 3, verse 13 and 14 out of the Amplified. I do not consider, brethren, that I have captured and made it my own yet. But one thing I do, it is myself, my own one aspiration, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward what lies ahead. I press on toward the goal to win the supreme and heavenly prize to which God and Christ Jesus is calling us upwards. And he just showed me there are so many people that are caught up in captivity with their past. We keep on running back to the past. We keep on blaming our future on the past. And what we actually do is we are activating things of the past and we're bringing it into the now and into our future. But God has taken it away. You see, he wants us to look and to behold what lies ahead of us. That's why um, Paul says, I press on to the goal. He said, and he says in verse 13, and straining forward to what lies ahead. It means that he's really pursuing, he's really taking hold of, he's grasping, he's gripping it, he's he's, he's taking hold of it with everything in his life. He doesn't want to let it go. Why? Because it's a glory of God. It's a goodness of God that lies ahead. And Satan only has power in you when you move to the past, when you focus on the past and you bring it into the future. You see, and how does he do that? How does he know? Because of everything God released in his promises, his covenant, the prophetic words and dreams you had about your life. And that is what Paul behold. He got hold of that and he has got an intimate relationship. So he does everything in excellence not to lose what God promised him. You see, he had vision. And we need to get our vision back in our lives, that we really got something to pursue, that, that we feel worthy, that we feel like people of in, um, influence, of that which God has chosen and has set apart. So I urge you to that. look ahead of you, walk towards God, habitually forward, constantly towards God so that you get glorified, so that you can glorify Him. I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.